Good morning, everybody. Hello, everybody. I know it's been a while since we've done videos, but we've been busy hard at work researching <laughs> and editing. I got like four videos to edit. And our Watchtower Most Wanted, our special episode coming up, has taken an extreme amount of editing. Yeah. You know, And unfortunately, I keep getting a lot of interruptions. And I so. do have to admit that there's, there is some acting in it. And it's, well, let's well, just put it this way. I'm not a good actor. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it is funny. <laughs> it is funny. We hope no one is offended because we did this all in fun and humor. Yeah. And uh, mocking Watchtower, yeah. not our dear brothers and sisters. Yeah. And uh, go ahead. I was just going to say, and speaking of dear brothers and sisters, we want to thank Mark and Cora. Yes. Thank you for the cups. It says, We escaped the Watchtower. And on the back, it says. Washing away the old, bringing in the new. Yeah, it. Uh, they asked us to send us some pictures, and uh, we happened to send some pictures when we were in our regalia. So, this is really nice, <laughs> really personal. Yeah. And um, thank you so much, dear yeah, sweet lovely you. friends. We I'll, love you guys. I also want to say to Mark um, Incor also that we thoroughly enjoyed the video you did when you went to the hospital and gave the opposing sides. Um, of the hospital liaison committee. You laid the um, smack down on them. Very well done. I, it really would have been nice if these uh, those elders from the um, HLC was still there so that they could have fielded the doctor's questions when they asked them about the shunning policy and then to have you standing right there and saying, yes, they do shun, after they had just got done saying, oh, no, we don't shun. That would have been a very interesting confrontation. Yes. Yeah. But thank you guys for all your hard work. Yes. And everybody else, you know, we've been trying to watch as many videos as we can, but everybody's been on a roll. And oh my goodness. And uh, so thank you everybody for sending your comments, your emails, you know, your YouTube videos, everything. And we appreciate them very much. And unfortunately, we won't have time to do a happy hour this week. Because <laughs> obviously, it's already Sunday morning. And yeah, so you, you could substitute this one for a happy hour. But I don't know how happy this one's going to make you. This one's really not on the topic of subliminal images like the other ones. Yeah, this is a were, little bit different. But this is still in the same category of subliminal images. But we're going to do something a tad bit different. We're going to direct this directly to Jehovah's Witnesses. And it's a subject that is going to make them very uncomfortable. Yeah. But you really should watch this because the point is, is Watchtower sending a message? Yeah. Didn't yeah. you want to read your tea thing? Oh, it, well, yeah. Uh, yeah cause I'm it actually, applied to today. Yeah, because I'm actually going to read a couple of scriptures. And it just... It just so happened to be that the scriptures that I'm going to read have to do with letting your light shine, basically. And uh, it's interesting. I I've already taped it to the computer, but my good earth um, quote this morning says, Don't let someone dim your light simply because it's shining in their eyes. <laughs> oh, and he's good about shining in people's faces. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so... Um, I guess without any further ado. Yeah. Okay. Jehovah's Witnesses, please play, blah, blah. Pay, close pay close attention yeah, yeah, because yeah. this is directed at you. Yeah. And it's not like the usual subliminal images we've been doing. And this is going to be a very uncomfortable subject for you. But we are going to use pictures right out of Watchtower literature. And we're going to interpret them as they are yeah. because interpreted Because we went and did research that we know you as Jehovah's Witnesses will not do. You are not going to take a step into the um, in, magical arts. Yeah, in the, in the direction that we're going because you have so much fear. See, the thing is, when you have finally accepted Christ in your heart and in your life, I'm not talking Watchtower's Christ. I'm talking about the deity that's Christ. You have no fear even of the occult world. Yeah. Exactly. So I want to draw your attention to the first scripture, Luke 7. And we'll start um, with 16. That's Luke 7. And I'm going to read this from the contemporary English version. It says, No one lights a lamp and puts it under a bowl or under a bed. A lamp is always put on a lampstand so that people who come into the house will see the light. 
There is nothing hidden that will not be found. There is no secret that will not be known. Pay attention to how you listen. Everyone who has something will be giving more. But people who have nothing will lose what little they think they have. You think, Jehovah's Witnesses, you have the truth. You will lose that. You are losing that already. You just don't realize it. Watchtower realizes it. That's why they're liquidating their assets in moving to Wallkill. Because... Warwick. Yeah. Thank you. Warwick. They're which, expanding Wallkill. Yeah. Which happens to be within a few miles of the occult center, Sleepy Hollow. Yeah. You connect the dots, Jehovah's Witnesses. That book, Sleepy Hollow, isn't all just fiction and legend. <laughs> Yeah. So anyhow, the next scripture I want to draw your attention to is found in Ephesians. Ephesians. Yeah. Ephesians. <laughs> chapter 5. And we'll start. I know that cinnamon tea kind of numbs the tongue, doesn't yeah. it? <laughs> yes. Um, Ephesians chapter 5. And we'll start at verse 6. <clears throat> it says, do not, uh, don't, don't let anyone trick you with foolish talk. God punishes everyone who disobeys him and says foolish things. So don't have anything to do with anyone like that. Isn't that what they say about apostates? Oh, of course. Yeah. There's they, a reason they say that. Yeah. You used to be like people living in the dark, but now you are people of the light because you belong to the Lord. So act like people of the light and make your light shine. Be good and honest and truthful as you try to please the Lord. Don't take part in doing those worthless things that are done in the dark. And it's funny, when you read this particular scripture in the New World Translation, it says, done in secret. Okay? Instead, show how wrong they are. See, instead, show how wrong they are. This and, is why we do this. Yeah, and the subliminal images, whether you agree or disagree, we are showing how wrong they are because current Jehovah's Witnesses are seeing them because we're teaching them the technique on how to do this, and they are waking up. We at, have, an, at an alarming rate. We have had several emails this week from current Jehovah's Witnesses who are now starting to ask questions. Um, oh, my goodness. We even had oh. one from an elder in Poland Yeah. who is now waking up, and he's showing his wife that she is waking up, and it's unbelievable. You know, so this is why we will keep doing these, you know. Well, it's, it's what it says here. Instead, show how wrong... See, I can't be silent because Christ dwells in my heart and Christ is speaking out. See, those that have a lot will be given more. And we're using it. See, it would be wrong for me to hold back my words just because a few people disagree on how we do this. Uh-uh. Like and this, this is, sorry, I just want no. to say, this is why Watchtower tells you, Jehovah's Witnesses, that apostates are foolish, their um, sayings are gangrious. This is why, because they don't want you to wake up and see, you know, what is going on, even within their own literature. You know, and I'll expose to you why Kim and I are taking a lot of heat on this subject. Because let's say you have a confidant, and I'll get back to reading the scripture in just a moment. Let's say you have a confidant. And you tell that confidant something in secret. Shh, don't tell anybody. This is the secret between me and you. And then all of a sudden you discover that that confidant has been exposing your secret. How would you feel towards that confidant? You would become enraged. You would start bashing them. But see, the problem is, is you wouldn't bash them to the face. You'd go, to, I can't believe that that idiot so-and-so is now telling everybody that I told him something. See, that's a normal human reaction when secrets are being exposed. I can take that heat. Trust me. I can take that heat. 
But my Lord and my Master says, show how wrong they are. Granted, this is Paul writing to the Ephesians, but Christ just as well could have said it. He goes on to say, it is disgusting even to talk about what is done in the dark. But the light will show that these things are really, um, will show what these things are really like. Light shows up everything, just as the scriptures say, wake up from your sleep and rise from death. Then Christ will shine on you. Wake up, Jehovah's Witnesses. Now, you need to pay real close attention to what we're getting into now because I know that Jehovah's Witnesses in the occult, occult symbols and things like this are a taboo subject. But yet, if they are a taboo subject, then why does Watchtower picture in the literature a taboo subject? Jehovah's Witnesses, have you ever stopped to think why these cards are being laid out? What is being said through these cards? Now, see, you won't go there because of the fear that you have in the dark. See, people yeah. fear the dark, but they don't fear the light, do they? See, yeah. now, one simple fact, Jehovah's Witnesses, you have to realize that what Kim and I looked into when we get into this, um, there's another picture in particular where it shows a man holding four cards, but we're going to get to that a little bit later. You have to realize, Jehovah's Witnesses, that in order for Watchtower to have taken this picture with these tarot cards, Watchtower has to have these cards in their possession. This is a real deck. of It's from the white tarot cards. And it's a very rare deck, and it's a very expensive deck if you happen yeah. to find it. Yeah, and we know from like one of our part three, I think, subliminal image videos, we show how Watchtower takes pictures of these things, and then they have the art artist paint these. So they actually had to have this deck. This deck does exist, and a lot of these pictures were done back in like the 80s. So this was pre-internet, you know, yeah, us, well, we were able to go on the internet, you know, yeah. and get these pictures. But like in this book, um, yeah, this is the newer one, but I mean like the Live Forever book, you know, that is from the 80s, yeah. which was pre-internet. So they couldn't have just taken the picture. They actually had to have this deck. Now we first want to say that Dally Wally did a video about this and his video was, why in every single one of these pictures of the occult does Watchtower have the Tower tarot card? And he really didn't get into explaining what the others meant and what the true meaning and layout. Unless, and yeah, unless he did it in, a, in another video and we just missed it. Yes. So, Dally Wally, if we're stepping on your toes, we certainly apologize. Um, this Don't, is not no. our intention to show you up or anything to this effect. Yeah, thank you very much yes. because you're the one that's like, oh, wait a minute. Wait a tick. Yeah. You know, what what, what do, do these other cards mean? Yeah. So what Kim and I did is we actually sent these Watchtower pictures to a person that knows how to read tarot cards. And we want to thank Krista very much. Getting, thank you, and, sweetie. And for this getting helped back to us so fast. I mean, yeah. it was thank like, you for boom. all your hard work and we appreciate yeah. it. Yeah. And so thank you. We do appreciate it. And like I said, Jehovah's Witnesses, you do fear the dark, but you don't need to fear the light. So okay. first, we are going to show a picture from, this is from the Knowledge Book, page 110. Okay, now as you can see, we have the actual Knowledge Book. And what I did is I did a scan of all of these pictures and I sent them to our friend Krista, who is a tarot card reader. And she sent back this information. And once again, thank you, sweetie, for all your hard work. Okay, now, before we do that, did we want to get into what the uh, the three card spread? Yeah, I was okay. just going to explain that. Okay. Okay, now the common, simple three card spread is what most of the readers use. And according to these pictures, you know, they've got Watchtower has the three cards also. And it's interesting because in this spread that they use, um, it usually means, and they read them from left to right, and it's past, present, 
future. And the placement of the card uh, in one of those, you know, places means everything. So it's the placement of these cards, and then not only that, but the meaning. And so what we're going to do, now here in the knowledge book, they have the Queen of Cups for past, the Tower for present, and this card was a little difficult to find in this deck because it is a minor arcana card. Right. And it is the Six of Wands. And it was interesting about that meaning. Yeah. So what we're going to do is, you know, do each card, like I said. Okay, so in the past position is the Queen of Cups. And it can mean stuck in obsession, what the feelings used to trap the mind. Trap the mind. And vice and versa. Vice Interesting. It's not worth it. Beautiful, fair, dreamy, as one who sees visions in a cup. Oh, 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 the new system is just around the corner, brothers. We live in a spiritual paradise. Look yeah. how nice. Look at the loving brotherhood we have. This is, however, only one of her aspects she sees, but she also acts, and her activity feeds her dream. Divinatory meanings, good, fair woman, honest, devoted woman, who will do service to the querent, loving, intelligent, and hence the gift of vision. Success! New light! We have new light, brothers! God gave us new... Do you see the vision? Yeah. Mm. Sometimes denotes a woman e equivocal character. Oh, the mother organization. Come to mother. Yeah. Okay, now the center card was the tower. And it doesn't mean watchtower you no. know but the picture on the card you can you can look in the literature is a picture of a tower with lightning always hitting the top of it yeah and this is what the tower can mean a spectacular ambition that ends with disaster <laughs> misery distress <laughs> adversity calamity disgrace deception ruin it is a card in particular of unforeseen catastrophe. Oh, Watchtower, Jehovah's Witnesses, do you see the unforeseen catastrophe coming your way? Because that is in the present position. Position in this particular layout. Yeah. It's, it's, it's in the middle. Yeah. Now, the future position was the Six of Wands. And six is a number of balance. So it makes sense, the Six of Wands shows a time when the strife and competition of the past have been overcome. Oh, wait, 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 wait. What would be the competition of the past? Oh, wait a minute. That would be the knucklehead Rutherford that's saying religion is a snare and a racket. See, that campaign was designed to destroy Catholicism. And in a very literal way, or in a very symbolic way, they did do that by exposing all the false teachings. Well, think of it this way, too. They are also at the point of overcoming their past. Because what they're doing is that's all old light. That's rid right. Of everything prior to 2000. We're JW.org now and only have literature on there from 2000 and newer. Yes, and they so they're recreating their future, Yeah, basically. So then it goes on to say, you have overcome them, and you can enjoy the spoils of victory. Ah, <laughs> victory, my ass. <laughs> yeah. This is one of the most powerful of the minor arcana, since its meaning is so one-sided, yet so full of depth at the same time. Though it is a purely physical victory that has been gained, not, not a spiritual, spiritual one. <laughs> oh, um... That does detract from the momentary pleasure and acclaim. Not every victory must be a spiritual one. Victories in the material will, world as just as enjoyable. Oh, so now they have created, made a $30 billion corporation? Yeah. That's a worldly victory, isn't yeah. it, guys? So then it talks about your um, personal, you know, a spiritual breakthrough and all of this. But this was interesting. It says, when this card makes an appearance, it is a sign that your goals are about to be reached and your hard efforts will be recognized by all. The recognition may be elaborate or subtle, but it will be there in some form. You can see all of life's battles through to their end. And what is more, you can win them too. Yeah, <laughs> but there's a warning. Yes. See? As with... All wand cards, however, there are inherent dangers in playing with sixes fire. See, now notice the six 
they used the Six of Wands card, so now there's a danger with playing this card. Now, if it would have been me, I would have used the Ten of Wands because that wasn't yeah, as bad. Yeah, exactly. So yeah. if you're going to use pictures of tarot cards, you know, that's why we think there's a message being sent here. Okay, so there's danger with playing Sixes Fire. With victory will often come pride and arrogance <laughs> and the notion that you are the best. <laughs> and no one can be greater than you are. See, we are the chosen. We are God's organization. You arrogantly, arrogantly fulfill the meaning of this card, yeah. don't you, Watchtower? To think such things is to invite disappointment <laughs> later on. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Well, yeah. Watchtower, you don't have a clue what you're playing with. Yeah. Jehovah's Witnesses, neither do you. Pay yeah. attention. I always keep in mind when this card's energy empowers you, how you would feel if someone made you feel inferior. Apostates? You taking a beating from the apostates? Rein in your ego and make your victory all the sweeter. Okay, then it goes into um, how it could pertain well, no, no, to... Well, no, wait, wait. I, I, okay. I want you to read this one because I want to make a, a connection right okay. here. Sometimes the Six of Wands indicates the successful formation of a friendship or a romantic relationship, tending to favor the former because the wand suit tends to focus on morality more than emotion. Um. So it says a successful formation of a friendship. Hey, Watchtower, your friendship with the United Nations was successful for a while, wasn't it? But that ambition is exposed, and now you have to make a lie saying, oh, we only formed this relationship because we wanted a lie yeah. card. And then you make everybody believe that you, you know, yeah, you did quit your membership here in the United States but back in still, 2003. But you still have that relationship in Europe, don't you, yeah. Watchtower? You're still Don't going you? to all their meetings. Yeah. You're you know, sitting their in a summit room. meetings. You're sitting in a room trying to get world policy passed so that you can maintain your freedom of religion. You're still part of the Forum 18, which yeah. is part of the UN. Exactly. <laughs> okay. It is a sign to relax and enjoy the fruit of one's labors. Oh, is that why that they're building this new compound so that they can finally relax and enjoy the fruit of their labors? And liquidating you know, all their property? Yeah. See, and these labors started all the way back in Russell's day, didn't they? Yeah. But under no circumstances is it a shady tree under which to sit down and fall asleep. The most important work still lies ahead. This is a reminder that you are on the right track, but there is still a long way to go. So travel in confidence and high spirits, knowing that when you do reach your destination, the reception you receive will be one worthy of a king. Oh, look, we're going to rule in heaven as kings and priests. Isn't it something that you used a tarot card to qualify your ambition in life? To become yes. kings with Christ. Huh? It's going to fail because that's what the Watchtower card means. It's a failed ambition. You knuckleheads, yeah. you put the wrong cards together, idiots. Okay, so that's their future. Yeah. So now we have the Live Forever book, and we have this picture in it with the, the tarot cards. Now this is the same picture that is in the Spirits of the Dead brochure. Yeah. We just have a larger picture. Yeah, that's a larger picture. Now, before we go any further than this, I'm going to reuse this picture in the next episode of Subliminal Im Images because there is a very direct pointer to the subliminal word. Pointing to some embeds. Yep. So, anyway, what we're going to do then is show the picture from the Live Forever book. Okay, so in the Live Forever book, this is on page 97, and on the Spirits of the Dead brochure, it is on 21. Um, I know they have redone this brochure. I don't have the new one, but it is on JW.org. But in this picture, they have the past place. They have the tower. And what's interesting, the present is the lover's card. And in the future is the death card. So we're going to explain that. Now, I'm not going to do the tower again because we just said what the, what, tower, what the tower means. card means. 
So let's go to the lovers, which means the present. It means a deeply felt mutual attraction for as long as it lasts. Attraction, love, beauty, trials overcome. So very simple, you know, lover's card. Felt natural mutual attra mutual attraction for whom? See, you pretend you have a mutual attraction for the brothers and sisters, Watchtower, the governing body, but really that's not the mutual attraction because if you really had this mutual attraction for the sheep, you would not have in place um, um, rules and things like this that protect pedophiles. Or See? destroy family like well, your shunning policy. Yes, you and would not. Go ahead. I was just going to say, and something just popped into my head. Jehovah's Witnesses, I have a question for you. If you shun any of your family members, aren't you fulfilling the scripture in First Timothy about having no natural affection? That's right. See, Watchtower has made you take that natural affection away. How is that showing love, you know, like Christ told us? To Christ have? said, pray for your enemies and love those that persecute. Well, cutting people off that are exposing the wickedness of Watchtower is not love of Christ. That's love of the darkness. Yeah. See, but I got to go back and ask, Watchtower, you put a card in here that would picture love for the organization, love for the sheep, but yet your policies dictate otherwise. So now I've got to ask, deeply felt mutual attraction. Who is that attraction for? Is it the Masons that you feel this deep love for? Are you money. The, uh, the Illuminati? Money. That's a good one. See, where is your love? Because it's not for the flock because you abuse the flock. Yeah. See, and, and in fact, in another upcoming video, watch how we're going to expose how you are slowly but surely imposing a forced tithing upon the, upon the flock. Oh boy, more money scam videos. Yeah. I like those. See, so it's very interesting that when you begin to realize and analyze these tarot cards, you really begin to see what Watchtower is portraying because the scriptures say, by their fruits, you will recognize them. Good segue. Because now we can go to the future position where yep. the death card was. A costly loss. Sometimes, but not always, the death of someone. So it doesn't always mean the death of someone. A costly also... loss? A costly loss? Yeah. Sometimes? Hmm. Like a bunch of child abuse lawsuits? Lawsuits or the fact that, you know, we have emails from current Jehovah's Witnesses that went to the memorial this year. And guess what? They're counting empty seats, not by the ones and twos, but by the tens, twenty, thirties, and forties. That's a costly loss because on that one night when you expected a lot of donations, you didn't get them, did you? That was costly to put that memorial on. The last memorial our family went to, it was standing room only. Yeah, there was people standing back in the lobby area because there was not yeah. enough seats. The back room was full. There's a couch in the lobby that was full, packed with people. There's people, you know, kids sitting on the floor. Yeah, I mean, I, I remember them days when Watchtower's Kingdom Halls on the memorial night was standing room only. And it wasn't just... You know, standing room only this year or maybe two years, it was consistent. But now we're hearing reports that consistently the seats are getting emptier and emptier and emptier, which means the money is stopping its flow, isn't it, Watchtower? Yeah. So see, the death card could indicate a costly loss. But it gets better. But I just wanted to mention, yep. too, that we had an email from a current Jehovah Witness um, that told us that they counted 30 empty seats in their kingdom hall. Um, an email from another one that went to the memorial, and there was 28 empty seats at theirs. And so this is very interesting to it's us. It's shrinking, yeah. And they also made the comment that they handed out thousands and thousands of memorial invitations <laughs> in their congregation. And they couldn't fill the kingdom And there hall. wasn't one single new person. <laughs> there was a couple of family members that are not Jehovah's Witnesses. Oh, oh, oh you mean the uh, submarine current, witnesses? <laughs> yeah, kind of like uh, the current Jehovah's Witnesses begging their family members. There was a couple of family members, but no one from the territory. What does that tell you? Yeah, now we don't know if this was in every single 
congregation, but it just happened to be that those that emailed us made this observation. Nobody from the territory was at the memorial. Yeah. So That's let's finish costly. the death card showing your future. <laughs> <laughs> End. Mortality. Destruction. Corruption also. <laughs> Yeah. Corruption, Corruption also for a, for a man. man. The loss of a benefactor for a woman. Many contrarieties for a maid. Failure of marriage projects. Huh. Is that, Interesting. Is that a future fortune showing that the UN is going to turn on you and, um, you know, destroy the Queen of Cups that you so sex, sex, successfully had at one time? Huh. It, it's interesting that when I was being taught at JW, you always taught everybody that the UN is going to turn on everybody. But yet the cards show that you had a successful and still have a successful relationship with this UN. It's a marriage union. But yet the death card could mean that this is going to fail. Interesting. Yeah. Now, it's interesting to note the next one because up until now every research that Kim and I have done on these cards that are laid out it's always in sequences of three. three. Now for the first time we've noticed there's a sequence of four. Yeah. That's so different. Let, let's show the picture. Okay, that picture is from the What Does the Bible Really Teach book on page 101. Interesting. Yes, and it's funny because when Kim and I were looking into this, we found it interesting to note that in the previous pictures, the tarot cards are plainly identified and plainly exposed. Laid out. Yeah, but in this particular particular layout, two of the four cards are obscure from the conscience mind. See, you see four cards, but you don't plainly see what they are like you did in the other pictures. So now, what is Watchtower trying to hide? Because in all honesty, the only people that would be able to recognize what those two cards are, are people that know how to read tarot cards. So we asked our friend Krista, sent her the scan, and because she reads these cards, she knew immediately what they were. In and her, she was very interested she, since she is an XJW. Yeah, she said interesting because the two cards that are hidden. Now remember, this is a four card layout. So you would read it from left to right. So the first card that you would want to identify as a reading would be the card that is most obscure. And it's interesting that watch now keep in mind we said before in order for watchtower to have taken a picture of that brother holding the cards that deck of cards is in watchtower's possession so keep what that I'm going to do mind. is I'm going to explain what the four card spread means and then we'll tell okay. you the identification yeah. of now the this four is card. the most common and um, this is what they do when they do readings for a person. Okay, so the one on the far left means you. You. Okay, so we'll get Keep to what that, that one in mind because that one's good. That's the interesting one. Okay, so then the next one is unknown. Unknown. Then the next one is something known. And then the last one is an action. So now. Remember, the first card is the you. And Meaning Kim, you. what was the card that's hidden the most? Now, Chris has said, and now the most interesting one, the devil. This wow. card that is hidden on the, you know, which would be the far is, left. Is the devil card, people. Yeah. And ooh, that gave me goosebumps. <laughs> okay. The pain and delight of giving in to temptation, ravage, violence, vehemence. Extraordinary, extraordinary efforts. Force, fatality, that which is predestined but is not for this reason evil. Interesting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. But isn't it interesting that that's the one Watchtower hid the deepest On the in bottom. that four card layout was the devil card, which is you. You are the devil, Watchtower. 
Yeah. And see, like I said, we couldn't recognize the card because no. we're not used to this. But someone who does read these and used to it, all they needed was the little hand over on the side, picture of the hand, and then just the little piece of the horn. And they knew exactly what card was over, you know, it, you know, because it's splayed out in this, you know, man's yeah. hand, which was over on the far left. So the next one over, which would be in something unknown, unknown. category it is the hermit card, and this can mean the lesson and reward, but also misfortune. Of solitude. Of solitude. <laughs> Prudence. Circumspection. Also, and especially, treason. Dissimulation. <laughs> roguery. Corruption. So, so this was, the you know, like I said, the second from the left card that was hidden underneath the more, you know, prevalent. So Watchtower saying, we are the devil. We are corrupt. <laughs> we are the devil. We are treasonous. <laughs> We're corrupt. Okay, so now in the third position in his hand is the death card. <laughs> A costly loss, sometimes but not always. You know, we've you know covered Read this, this card before. Yeah. Now over in his right hand is the tower card. Again, the tower card. So, anyway, this was very interesting, you know. And, Not that uh, we're encouraging anybody to get into the occult, but the thing is, is that we find this interesting because we don't fear it any longer. Yeah. And, you know, for those who do read tarot cards, you know. I'm not sitting in judgment. Yeah. No, absolutely not. Because without your help, we would not have been able to understand that somehow, some way, Watchtower is commuting, communicating a message, or they're being communicated a message. But either way, when you get that tower that they so prominently show every time, see, in the mind of a Jehovah Witness, you're seeing the tower, the Watchtower. Yeah, I'm part of the Watchtower. This is my organization. I will die for this organization. I will do whatever the governing body tells me to do. But in reality, the watchtower in this position is a failed ambition. Yeah, they kind of miss the lightning bolt coming out of the clouds, you know, busting up the top of the yeah. tower. And one thing we did learn from Krista, that it there is a good side of tarot cards and there is a bad side of tarot cards. And apparently what his mom was doing... Was on the bad side. Was yes. on the bad side because she did not have someone teaching her and did not have a guide and she did not uh, protect herself. Because you have to mentally protect yourself before you get into this. And so we thought that was very interesting. And, um, and you know, in, in all reality, when you think about what Kim said about protecting yourself, when, when you read the gospel accounts and Christ's disciples had the power to expel demons, at the same time, Christ had instructed them how to protect themselves so yeah. that them demons would not attack them. So just think about that, because in my video that we did on uh, Halloween Watchtower style, you know, there is a protection because Christ has cast Satan and his demons to the vicinity of the earth. And he would not have done that if um, without giving us some sort of protection. And you have to identify how to protect yourself. And what it is, it's a very strong willed mind. mind. That's what it is. And it's love yeah. of Christ in your heart. When you have that true love of Christ in your heart, the demons and Satan cannot affect you. It's just that simple. Yeah. You have to be stubborn and stand strong. And yeah. so this, I hope this was an enlightening, as enlightening to you as it was to us, mm -hmm. because we learned a lot. And like I said, we thank Krista very much. You know, she helped us a lot and we've been understanding a lot. And yeah. um, we've learned a lot. So the thing is, Jehovah's Witnesses, don't be afraid to step outside the box. See, Watchtower encourages you to analyze the pictures that they put in yeah. their in their <laughs> That's watchtower. What's so funny. How many times have you sat in a Watchtower study or a book study and you've analyzed the pictures because you're encouraged? But how come you don't analyze this picture? You know, it's, instead of just looking at the picture and say, oh, what a beautiful picture with all the colors and, you know, 
usually the ones that show the spirit world and tarot cards, you hurry and bypass those and don't want to dwell on it. You know what? <laughs> Research what those cards are. They are real tarot cards and what they are telling you. Watchtower has those cards in their possession. So as a Jehovah Witness, if Watchtower's got them in their position, then why can't you have them? Or why can't you not understand and try to find out the meanings? Because there's very specific messages that Watchtower is laying out in the design of these cards or in yeah. the layout of the cards. So don't be afraid to step outside the box. Don't let that fear captivate you. But anyhow, don't be afraid to step out of the darkness and into the light. Because when you step into the light like Kim and I have, now we see what was hidden in the dark. Thank you for so, watching our video. Bye, everybody. Bye.